I love Palmer in the morning. It's always something going on, going down. Like that. And here we are, Musicasa. And we're here a little bit too early. So I guess we've got to wait around. Let's go and get a coffee. Love these little old style Mexican cafes. Donuts. You, you're on film here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, you got the cornet cheese on the board? Which is great. Wake me up. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Yeah. Alright, here we are. Gotta get some strings for this recording. Lots and lots of guitars. Hola. It's all going down. This one, right? The one. Let me the show you the other one. There's the Fender. My, Where's my, the little Fender one I bought? My, the little. Oh, the tuner. This one, man. Do you need one? I want to show you this one, okay? This is a different one. Me. Slightly different. Push, Mucho mejor. Push. And, Jose. And, and uh, then come the, then the thing and the thing around. The notes in the. Yeah. yeah. Just on there. But how, how much is this one? 20. 20. 20. You're a seller. I, I am, I'm a reseller. I, I, I work for Fender. The pick. I always feel bad when I'm in a music shop and I don't buy anything. So I always grab a pick. But I am buying something today. To Dario's. Yeah. <laughs> Big tone. This is Habe from Musicasa. The music shop. The music shop of Palma, right? This is where you get your guitars. Guitars, drums. Drums, everything you can imagine. Half a tour, half a tour. <laughs> God. Oh yeah, this is the sweet pox part, eh, right? This is all the fenders. I like I like that one. And the Gibson side. What's your favorite? Probably that world top there. 1956. Oh wow, okay. Custom made. How much? From 4,000. 4,000. Not that much. Ouch. BB King. Lucille, eh? Yeah, all, the, all these four are custom made. Gibson. Oh, wow, that's cool. <gasps> One day, I'll get there. Come on, baby, light my fire. It's time to hit the studio. Press the doorbell and we'll see who answers. Hey. Oh, hello, here he is. Frederick. All right, so this is Frederick. Good morning, how are you? He's the man that started this whole Palma Music Studios up. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, we are in the heart of Palma. We have three floors with six, six studios, and we opened a year and a half ago. Yeah, very wow. happy about that, yeah. Great beginnings. All right, so we're in the studio here, Palma Sound, with Renee, working with Renee today. Yeah. Laying down some of the guitars. Oh, yeah. Some uh, heavy metal guitars from Nick. <laughs> so what, is, what was the thing we were using with the... Um... We cheated last time. We did cheat. Uh, what, we was, used, what was the thing called? We used the camper. The camper. It also works as a heart machine. If you got... You know, oh, you can actually old, restart like yeah. a defibrillator. Yeah, you so it? you can, like if you have old rock stars on stage, <laughs> yeah. you can revive them. Hook them straight in. Straight yeah. into the input, right? Yeah. Oh, that's good to know, actually. My no, we... I know there's a lot of tone freaks out there who's like, uh -uh, that doesn't work, but it actually does work. Yeah. So we modeled some amps from, from our amps and there's other models in there. It's and got like Nick, a million uh, guitar tones in there in the little yeah. box. You got like a hundred amps in this thing. Is it a bit of sacrilege in the in the recording world? Or? It is. It is? Yeah. But we, but we don't care. We had to break down all the laws. It's a brave new world. Yeah. We can use some of these babies today if you want. The real ones. Yeah. I would just stick with the camper though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care how you do it. Hallelujah! In the strap, that's my baby. All right, let's do it. All right, so we've got the fresh strings on. It's gonna be sounding sweet. There's a little trick you do to tighten the strings, to stretch the strings do this. out. Do one against. What do you do? Like that. Ronell, show me. Yeah. Jimi Hendrix trick. You always Jimmy put his guitar here. And it went like this. 
a counterweight with the film. Okay, well. That's great. Okay, so we can keep stretching these so they won't go out of tune when I do my huge Jimi Hendrix solo. Alright, so we're going straight into this device. This music guitar machine called the Kemper. And that's going to give me some sweet tones. Alright. Great. Alright, let's nail it? this guitar solo. I'm feeling it now. Hey, where's the sound? Just gonna play by oh, feel. You need to swap that to browser. Oh, browser. It's the camper. No, no, no. The the, the turn knob. Browser. Yeah. Get out of your Let's keep that and do a slide on top of that. Can you say that again for the camera? We're gonna keep this because it was a okay, and um, Nick is gonna do some slide. Let's double up this baby, the slide, and see if we can make it sound epically big with this tiny little metal thing. Yeah. Basis comes in there. That's right, yeah. And is this, what is this thing? This is the EQ of your, of your main guitar solo. Okay. So we can listen to it. Oh wow, that's cool. So you can like isolate the different parts of the frequency. Uh, so all this low stuff. Okay. Gets a bit annoying in a... So you can really shape the sound. Oh, that's so cool. Sounding good. So, bass for the bridge. Too high to get down. Take 49. What take? Take 49. <laughs> Shades bass emulator. It's a bit of a Jakob Astorius vibe. That sounds better already. I actually sound I actually sound like a bass player. Wow. Oh, what was that? You have to unsolo the channels that are solo, please. Oh wow, okay, let's see this. So this button here, the yellow ones? Yeah. And then the song. Tell me comes to life. Babe, it's too late. That was cool. If all else fails, you can come <laughs> here and have a job. Alright, so that was a pretty good day there in the studio today. Working with Renee, we got some great guitar stuff down. I laid down a sick bass line for the song. We're getting there. We're really getting there. I'm really loving the song, the vibe. I think it's going to be a great tune. Stay tuned.